Mu oil based products prevents, treats, cures, or diagnoses any illness or medical condition. Consult a doctor before all medical uses. The opinions expressed by the testimonials in this presentation are not necessarily those of Jurassic Secret. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. I think it's fantastic that we have so many people looking at the benefits of emu oil. Uh, there's a, a tremendous, I can tell you, in this industry um, of uh, interest in emu oil, and there's some reasons why that is. We went for a year uh, to come up with a way of adding emu oil uh, to minerals, vitamins, uh, and other nutrients that are needed to work for a catalyst in the body because. Oftentimes we talk about taking a multivitamin and mineral or these other supplements, and I agree with Mr. Richard as he's discussed uh, taking all these different supplements, and people do this all the time, and they're getting very little or no absorption of any of them, uh, which means that they're throwing their dollars uh, basically into the commode. Uh, they're getting very little nutritional value out of it, and you've got to realize people are expecting for this to change their health, to improve their health, and when that doesn't happen, they're extremely disappointed as a result. And so with that being the premise of what we're, we're trying to work on and what we have worked on is we wanted to tie emu oil into a substance because anytime you attach anything molecularly, and I'm certainly not a chemist, but anytime you, you atta or attach anything molecularly, when it goes into the digestive tract, your body has a better chance of not only assimilating it, uh, after, as you heard about the bloodstream, assimilating it into the digestive tract, uh, you get better use of the other nutrients that you are using as well, whether it be minerals, whether it be vitamins, or whatever the active alkaloid is of that particular substance. Uh, and that's where emu oil comes into play. This is what we've done, if you uh, will go on to the next slide, this is what we've done in time past. A lot of you individuals have, uh, have uh, uh, used it topically and externally, and I'm telling you, this is a product that we have, and I know some of you have uh, similar products, and I'm certainly not uh, pushing a product. I'm just trying to tell you how it relates to what we're doing. We do this as well. Uh, we have a uh, topically where individuals would use it for joint pain and stiffness, and we're getting phenomenal, phenomenal results. It's amazing to me that you can take an emu based product, you can apply it today, and tomorrow you can take as many baths as you want. And tomorrow, uh, when you begin to work, when you begin to move around, uh, you actually have the, the material uh, like the glucosamine, the chondroitin, the arnica, it begins to heat up in the area uh, where that you applied it the day before. The only reason that that can happen is because of emu oil, because of the transdermal properties of emu oil, because no other oil goes to that through that third layer of skin. We've used all different types of oil uh, down through time and down through uh, this industry, and nothing penetrates like emu oil. Also, nothing actually stays in the tissue like emu oil because it's very similar and I know I noticed that some of the other doctors are going to be discussing uh, some of the benefits externally, and they will explain this to you, but nothing penetrates like emu oil. And, and in our industry, it's not necessarily what you're applying or what you're taking in. It's whether your body is capable of accepting it uh, or not. And you can have all the wonderful ingredients on a label that you would like, and it, at the end of the day, it means absolutely nothing if there's no penetration, if there's no absorption, or if there's no utilization, it's all, I mean, you might as well just throw in the garbage can because it's useless. Your body has to absorb it, be able to utilize it, and it be able to be a part of the function of the body. And that's, that's extremely, extremely important uh, in our industry. And so most of you also are familiar with the product being in a gelatin cap, and we did that as well. Uh, there was a big problem that I always had in the health food store with fish oils, and uh, most of you probably are familiar with a lot of fish oils on the market. Uh, fish oil has some interesting uh, properties, very good properties, but again, uh, it's not very consumer friendly. And I'll explain to you some of the things that happen. And I, I worked in it for eight years. I used to work about 54 hours a week in a health food store, so I know exactly and did it for eight years straight. So I know what people complain about, what they dislike about supplements, what they like about them. And so you find, and, and this is a big industry now, I can assure you. And, and one of the biggest things is omega-3s. We turn on the television, uh, we open up a newspaper, and we're hearing all about omega-3s. Everybody agree with that one? I mean, they're everywhere. All this information about omega-3s. Uh, we even have associations like the American 
a heart association that are actually talking about omega-3s now. Guys, I can tell you that's a huge, huge, huge step in the right direction because to have any of those associations to even connect themselves uh, with a dietary supplement or the use of a dietary supplement is huge. And in this aspect, it's, it's a wonderful thing for our industry simply because fish oil, there's a lot of individuals that have taken it over the year. Has anybody ever belched fish oil? Have you ever burped fish oil? That was the biggest problem that I, that I had with individuals. They would come back, slam the bottle on the counter, and they said, I don't want to have nothing to do with this because they belched fish oil one time. Uh, <laughs> there is a reason why a lot of Americans don't eat raw fish. Uh, some people may enjoy it and like it, but it's not really palatable to the American taste buds, and they don't like it. They don't like belching it. They don't like tasting it. Uh, it doesn't matter what you, where you're from, they don't like it. And it ain't something they're going to do. If you, even if you don't use uh, ain't in your vocabulary, they're, just not, they're not going to continue to do it. And so that's a huge issue. Another huge issue, and I had this a lot with individuals that, was, uh, that worked on construction sites or they were, uh, they were consistently sweating, um, eventually it will actually perforate and go through the skin and you will actually uh, smell like fish. And that's a, even a wonderful, wonderful thing up underneath your underarm, groin area, starting to smell like fish. You find out that your uh, spouse is not real uh, pleased with that issue. And so uh, as a result, it's, it's like I have had people said the benefits of garlic. I said, yeah, but you ever smell anybody after they took garlic for a few days? Uh, but it, it has some wonderful benefits, but there, there's some sidetrack with it, too. And the huge issue that we're having now is mercury. Um, and so mercury is a huge, huge issue with fish. Fish are very, very, very difficult to be able to take fish and to control their environment because their environment, of course, is water. And it's very difficult to control the environment of a fish especially when you're using fish oil as much as it's being used in the states right now. That's one reason why flaxseed oil has begun to be very popular and very expensive uh, compared to a lot of other oils because Americans are using it as an alternative to fish oil, and they have been for the, for the last few years. What we did is we actually did both. We actually partnered emu oil with flaxseed oil in this particular formulation and did 50-50 simply because you have the vegetarian source which are very, very high in omega-3s with the fish oil, I mean, excuse me, with the flaxseed oil. But what most people won't tell you when you ingest any type of essential fatty acids, you have to have six and nine, no matter how controversial they are, to ingest into the body and be able to digest. They are part of the digestive process of omegas. A lot of times we have companies trying to just extract out omega-3s, and it doesn't have the same benefit in the body, nor does it render the same results. That's why it's very important that we keep things in nature uh, as much as possible instead of trying to alter them. As you heard Mr. Richard talk about uh, how important it is, the fat in the bloodstream is extremely important because if you're going to get anything to absorb and be assimilated, assimilated into the body uh, without using any type of chemical, then what you've got to do is get the gut to absorb it. In the same way that you would have the transdermal benefits of emuol externally when you rub it on the skin, you could have it internally as well. Same benefit, same tissue. Most people forget that this skin is, is an organ. <laughs> and because we see it all the time, we don't really look at it as being an organ. But it is an organ. It's a very beneficial organ. And your tissue of your body is very similar in many different ways. The same tissue you have in your gums is very similar to the same tissue you have in your rectal area. Nobody wants to talk about that, but that is true. Tissue is very, very similar through the body. And what we're all trying to work for is getting nutrients to absorb and utilize, again, in the tissue of the body so that at the end of the day, the people that use those products uh, get an end result. No, it's very true. That's, uh, that's the whole point of the talk today, and, and I hope everybody got that. Is it, it is very, very true internally. Uh, that's why that we want to use the emu oil uh, with uh, and with our minerals. What the difference is, the way a lot of individuals are taking them separately, uh, as they often do. If you have adequate essential fatty acids in the bloodstream, yes, you're going to get better assimilation and better absorption of other nutrients you're taking. Uh, because again, when you apply emu oil externally, nobody takes, if I'm going to use glucosamine and chondroitin and arnica as you do in a rub, nobody takes and applies emu oil and then apply the glucosamine 
and then apply the chondroitin and then apply the arnica. It's molecularly attached together, it's mixed together and blended together that where when you attach it or put it to the skin, it goes with all of the other nutrients that are tied with it. And that's what we're trying to do uh, with the supplements and what we are doing with the supplements we're using. And, and so that's, uh, that's really the difference in the two. We have a wonderful, wonderful future together uh, tying supplements, which a lot of baby boomers are after, uh, with the emu oil, uh, and it's going to be equally beneficial to everybody. So uh, thank you very much. May God bless you.